tickets on me, I'm in the front row It's the best place to be, I'm in the front row Best place to be, yeah If you wanna find me, yo, I'm in the front row Got my two tickets on me, I'm in the front row It's the best place to be, I'm in the front row Hotter than a flame, I be in the front row, chilling at a ball game. Yeah, you know what they say when you're having fun, time flies. Catch me courtside, chilling with the inside. Scoop, come on, tell me how you want it. Catch me on the court, it's the best view in sports. Whether you're Lakers or Arizona Wildcats, whether you're Dodgers, Kings or Galaxy fans. In the front rows, got everything that you need from news and videos and all in between. So if you're down and you're feeling the vibe, and if you're down and you're feeling the vibe, then come and join us in the front row. Yeah, I'm in the front row. Got my two tickets on me, I'm in the front row It's the best place to be, I'm in the front row Best place to be, yeah If you wanna find me, yo, I'm in the front row Got my two tickets on me, I'm in the front row It's the best place to be, I'm in the front row Keep it rolling. This was your last interaction with that day. He kind of told me what was going to go on, and you know, I told him I got his bag no matter what he does, and you know, I, I'd hate to see him leave. You know, obviously, I mean, he's got to do his best for him and everything, and I'm not saying you know he had no chance or anything like that, but you know, obviously, I wanted him here for the competition and you know the camaraderie. You know, having him here, here all this time, he's kind of been the main. You know, guy to be around. You know, I mean, I had like you know Jesse Scroggins and people like that around to help me in this offense. But to have him around with all the experience stuff like that over the last you know two and a half, three years, uh, it's been immense. Uh, he's he's taught me just about everything he knows, and I try to you know teach him anything I could know. But you know, he's kind of been in a little bit longer than me, so I told him you know I have his back no matter what he does, and I'm always there for him. And uh, you know, we still hang out. We were in Hawaii a couple weeks ago. Saw him, hung out with him and his family, mess around a little bit. So. Funny story, but you know what I'm saying? You guys probably want to get a fatty here. I don't want to tell you. you know what I'm really? I want the funny story. All right, well, you know what I'm saying? We met up at the beach, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he was with his girlfriend, his family, and stuff, all his little cousins. And uh, I had all these little, I did, oh, my fault. I had these little pink board shorts on. And, uh, oh, know, that's the funny part. The pink yeah, so I had pink board shorts on, right? So I, I pulled up to the beach, you know, I was like, I already know. I'm like, oh, he's going to be making fun of me and stuff. And then he comes out the, comes out the water, you know what I'm saying? He has the same pink board shorts. No! <laughs> you gotta come back to school, man. You gotta play. You can't leave. So you know, it's kind of funny. We both had the pink board shorts on. You know, it's kind of just a weird, you know, funny occurrence. What beach in Oahu? It's know, in Oahu, right? right? Yeah, we we're in Oahu. We were up on uh, North Shore, messing around and linked up and had the pink board shorts on. I thought it was kind of funny. <laughs> so from last season to this season, what's like the one big thing you want to change in your game? Uh, just, I'd say leadership, you know, having a year under my belt, you know, the guys, you know, heed everything I say a little bit more, so, you know, kind of take the team and put it on my back a little bit more and be that leader that the team needs this season. And being a leader, does that include, like, having fun? Uh, I'd say so. I mean, that's kind of a big part of my game is always trying to be, you know, happy and smiling and feeling good because I feel like if I'm ever taking it too serious, I'm not going to be at my full capability and stuff like that, so I always try to keep it loose and keep it fun and you know, the guys, you know, they like to have their headphones on, get all serious. You know, I come, come poke them, mess around, you know what I'm saying, make sure they're not too focused. The last thing I want to do is overthink everything, you know. So football is just a game. You know, you're supposed to have fun with it. I mean, it's not, you know, life and death to any cost. So come out and have fun with it while you can because, you know, it's not forever. NFL is not for long, even if you get there. So. <laughs> That's a good point. Jacob said that the seniors are trying to increase accountability on the team because he felt like that was missing a little bit. Is that something you've noticed too? And is that something you're being the quarterback? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, the seniors have been trying to take, take a little bit of things on their hands. I mean, it's kind of like we always have this thing, you know, senior pride that, you know, the guys kind of, you know, try to take it in their own hands to, you know, be the leaders of the team. But, you know, being quarterback, it kind of comes with the position. So, uh, kind of put it on my shoulders a little bit as well and make sure I'm the, being the leader that this team needs. Is passing a big deal this season? Because we we in the in the media have made a lot of jokes. Not jokes. <laughs> well, like, it's fun. I mean, passed pass against ASU in the mm. second half, and you used to beat him. And you still beat him three passes in the first. You know, we have a lot of fun with that on Twitter. So I was just curious uh, yeah. about that. Passing's a big deal, obviously. Uh, you know, we had a good day today and everything, and yeah, you know, obviously want to keep that ball rolling. But I mean, if we come out with those zero passes in the game <laughs> and we run for 600 yards, I'm not a not going to be a you know sad guy. I'm still be happy. I mean. My, my main goal on this team is to put points on the board and keep the offense moving, and I don't care if I have to hand the ball off every single play of the game. If we're going to run for 600 yards, I mean, we could do that all game. That would make my job easier. So, <laughs> luckily I have, you know, a pair of legs that work okay, so I can make a couple yeah, plays. Yeah, today myself, it was so. working really well, your legs. <laughs> so I can, uh, you know, extend a couple plays in ASU, you know, come up big on a couple plays to be able to help the team out early. So, um, 
yeah, passing is obviously a big key to this offense, and it's going to help us out. But uh, big thing is to make sure everybody stays healthy this season. In, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, because in that game, did you know that you hadn't thrown? Like, I, I'm assuming you probably figured it out. Did you know the whole time that when the game ended that you didn't throw one pass in the second I didn't, half? I honestly, I didn't, I didn't realize it. You know, a lot of it, I realized a lot of it was running, but I yeah. feel like, you know, if they're going to leave the gaps and things like that yeah. that wide open, you know, why not, you know, take it while we have it? You know, you don't want to get too greedy and be like, oh, we're getting too many running yards. We need to start passing. You know, we never think like that. You know, none of the receivers made a big deal about it or anything. So everybody was on the same page. And, you know, as long as we're putting points on the board, the whole offense is happy and the rest of the team's happy at that. My last one is do you have a message for Wildcat fans? Um, do I have a message? Uh, yeah. Don't count out on us. Uh, it's be a better year this season. That's <laughs> okay. all I got to say. Okay. And I saw you had 13 and 0 on your. Is that on everybody's? Oh no no, 13 0 is, is is my loop number. So I'm 13 on the offense. Oh. Everybody keeps thinking 13 0. But yeah, so is that 13, th I kept thinking that was 13 wins and no losses. I don't think it worked like that. If we were, if we were 13 0, we'd be in the playoffs. Maybe. I feel like so right. we have to have a loss sometimes. You know so. I mean, 13 0 would be nice. I mean, I'll set that goal right now. Okay. We'll see about it. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Arizona Wildcats, whether you're Dodgers, Kings or Galaxy fans In the front rows, got everything that you need From news and videos and all in between So if you're down and you're feeling the vibe And if you're down and you're feeling the vibe Then come and join us in the front row Yeah, I'm in the front row with my two tickets on me I'm in the front row with the best place to be yeah, I'm in the front row